Hello, welcome to Today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is Stir Me, Lord. We all have problems in life that we have to deal with. Do you remember how excited you were when you first came to Christ? That great feeling you felt in your soul and how elated you were? Well, as you, if you've been serving God for a while, if you're like me, sometimes you become stagnant in your spiritual life. Sometimes you wonder, what are you doing and what should I be doing next? But when you feel that way, you should do like I do when I have to say, Lord, stir me. Stir up the gifts that you placed in me. Give me uh, uh, inspiration to use the gifts I know uh, that you placed in me so I can elevate the spirit of others. Show me what you want me to do next in my daily walk. 2 Timothy 1, 6-7 reads, Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love in a sound mind. Well, you may ask, Freddie, what are you asking me to have God stir up in me? Each of us are given spiritual gifts. You should ask the Lord to stir up that spiritual gifts inside of you to do God's will, to do the things only He can have you do for Him. And you'll be glorified in doing what God will have you do based on your own personal gifts. We all have different gifts. So you need to ask God to, to uh, show you how to use your gift to glorify Him. I know, again, people think the Bible is a historical record, but the Bible can apply to us today. God has given each of us supernatural spiritual gifts that we can use to glorify Him. Today, I'd like to share with you a few biblical keys to help you stir up your spirit for the Lord. Romans 12, 6 through 8 reads, In His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. If you have the gift of showing kindness to others, do it gladly. The spiritual gifts I'm talking about are individual gifts that's given to each individual that edifies, builds up, and encourages uh, the church to uh, the glory of God, both Christians and non-Christians. So you can be an inspiration to a lot of different people, not just to the people who go to your church, but it's all in the body of Christ that we give to others, that we encourage them and let them know what God has worked out in us and they can feel uh, what God has done in you. He can do the same thing for them. So that's what testimonies are about, building up others so others can have hope in their own situations. And only through you, by sharing your gifts, can that happen. You don't have to worry about other people's gifts. You just worry about what God gave you. If you don't know what they are, you need to get down on your knees and pray to God show you what he has for you to do. And once you figure out what those things is, don't be ashamed to share it with others. To do this, it takes us realizing who we are in Christ, not just how we see ourselves, but how Christ sees us. Then once you realize what value you have in Christ, you don't have to worry about what others think about your gift. You don't have to worry about being like somebody else. You do what God will have you do and you will prosper. You will succeed in what you do for Christ. Not necessarily the selfish thing that you do. And then when you do do what Christ have you to do, you'll be blessed in so many ways that you don't understand it. And this goes beyond tithing and things like that. You should do those things. But when you share the gifts that God have in you with the church or with others, with people you meet on the street, just show the love of Christ and you will be blessed. So to sum it all up, there used to be an army slogan, be all that you can be. You too need to be all you can be in Christ 
you'll find yourself doing a lot more with a lot less than you realize you're capable of. You should seek Christ in all that you do, and then you'll be blessed. There'll be some step back you have to deal with, but that's common part of living life. But you stay true to God, God will remain true to you. So be willing to share what God has placed in you to be to others, and you'll find yourself excelling in all that you do. So take care of yourself and ask God to stir up your gifts and things will work out well for you and others. And as always, be blessed.